we're here with the gorgeous Yunjin Kim, <laughs> who we all know plays Sun Quan. Yunjin? Yes, hello. Hello. Thank you for um, coming to speak to Sky One HD today. Thank you. You've been in the show from, you know, the very... From the very from beginning, the very, from the pilot, yeah. From the very beginning. Yeah. Is there a particular scene that you found the most challenging to do? I think it was the, uh, the very last finale of um, season four. And, um, you know, Sun is in the helicopter with the other Oceanic Six members and Jin is down um, on the freighter, Sun sees it exploding. Mm. When we were shooting, we were obviously on stage um, and stationary, you know, in a helicopter setting, and uh, we had the fans going, um, and I literally was this close to the ground, um, and I kind of picked a spot and kind of thinking, imagining that that's where the freighter is, and trying to sort of act out the scene, it was pretty difficult. Lost airs yes. in 230 countries. Why do people love it so much? I think the mystery um, and the fact that we have such a different, you know, ethnic backgrounds, just actors from all over the world, just different essence of what, what we are in the world. And, and I think that makes our show very special for that reason. And the fact that we get to speak in so many different languages. Mm and to be on an American show where half of it is in Korean. Mm. I mean, that's never ever happened before. I recently discovered that Sun was actually created for you. They called me in to read for Lost. They, right off the bat, they kind of said, well, you're not quite ready for this uh, character, Kate, but, um, you know, since we don't really have a character, female character, can you, can you read? Uh, for her. So you auditioned for Kate? Originally. I actually, I read for Kate, but they were very honest from the beginning that I wasn't quite right for, for, for the role, but they wanted to see me anyway. So I walked in and read for Kate, um, and um, like two or three hours later, I got a call from my agent saying that they want to write you a role. Will you take it? Well, without even finding out what kind of role, I said, yes, yes, yes. It's the best compliment you can have as an actor. Mm. Coming from someone like J.J. Abrams and Damon Lindelof to say, well, you know, we like you so much that we're going to make your role. I mean, it was, uh, it was I, I can never forget that day. And then Jin's character w came became, after, came like, after. I think came like three days after, yeah. Sun and Jin have been through a lot together. We've been through a they? lot, yeah. Can we expect to see them reunited in season six? I hope so. I mean, it's been Sun's intention to find her husband for mm. the last two seasons. All of season five, all she wanted to do was to go back to the island to find Jin. And, um, and all of this season, season six, that's been her, you know, throughout intention. Mm. Yeah. Sun's come a real long way from the first season. Yes, yes. She's, um, it feels like she's um, become a lot more confident and also she's become a little bit more aggressive. She's come a very long way from the pilot where, you know, Jin is barking at her, say, button up your sweater, and she does. And right. to, you know, move away Kate with the gun and slapping Mike Lemerson, uh, Ben's character, in the back of his head. and. That was brilliant you know, to watch. I was like, yes, yeah. she's kicking <laughs> ass, go son. <laughs> she's, she's becoming really complex and, and to, to be able to play her in such a different light, it's just been amazing. Thank you so <laughs> much for coming and talking to Thank Sky you. on HD today. Thank you. Thank you. It was lovely.